day, tubes. How she hanging? Pretty good here. Nice and bright and sunny. Although tomorrow it's not supposed to be like that. And of course I got a funeral. <laughs> That's the way she works, I guess. So, uh, but anyways, uh, looks like we're gonna have to take the rest of our taters out soon. The plants are pretty much gone now. There's just grassy crap growing up in here, but inside of these things here, the stemmy things is where all our, our uh, potatoes were. So we're gonna maybe tear those out. I don't know if we'll get to that today or not, but uh, we'll see, see what happens. Um, but anyways, did anybody notice a little difference in the video quality? Um, well, the whole thing wasn't better quality, but the other day when we did the trailer stuff there, I have uh, adjusted a few things on the camera here and uh, did some playing around with my rendering software, which I used the, uh, used to be Sony Vegas, but now it's Sony Movie Studio, they call it. It's not the newest news version that I'm using, but I'm using one that I know how to use kind of thing. So I was just doing a little bit of messing around and find, finding some different formats for using for the, the rendering stuff. And I found one that works pretty good, although it doesn't really compress it a whole lot. So it uh, will take a little bit longer to upload and process is the, the longest part. That's what's really going to take the time. The other night there, the uh, had to actually put it up. I think it was on Wednesday morning first thing. Sorry, the light's not too good here. Wednesday morning, the first thing, I think I had to put that one up. Um, because I was waiting and waiting and waiting. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, holy crap, it's still not finished processing. So I just went to bed and then put her up at like 6 a.m. the next morning. So that's going to be the downfall of it. It's going to take a little bit longer to process. That video was an hour and an hour and 13 minutes, I think. And it was almost 15 gigabyte. <laughs> so you got to sacrifice either good, good quality for uh, good quality, bigger file or crappier looking quality and smaller file. So I'm, I'm going to try to go with the better looking quality to give you guys a little better video. So that might just alter when things get put up and, and, uh, and uh, you know, set up because um, and ready to go because of uh, processing time and stuff. It's, it's okay uploading. It only took me like, I think it was 68 minutes they were claiming to upload it, which was pretty good, but uh, it's the processing that took like four hours, so it's like, Ugh. but uh, anyways, the, the rendering program too is a little weird. I can do it in, I'm shooting in 1080p right now, full quality, and it's in 60p frame rate, um, but I can't render it like that. I can render it as 720, high definition 720, and uh, 60p, which gives you a nice crisp, not so sort of choppy. I can do it that way, or I can do it 1080, but only um, 30 frame a second. So it kind of doesn't look kind of nice and smooth. It's a little more choppier, but I guess this, the image is a little sharper. So it's kind of stupid. I can't figure how to do both. You know, I want a 1080p, um, HD 1080, in. Um, 60p, but it won't let me allow, allow me to do that, so it's gonna have to be 720, I guess. But honestly, I've never really noticed a whole lot of difference between the 10, uh, 1080 and the 720, anyways. So I'm just gonna run with, I guess, a 720. So, but anyways, um, I don't really have a whole pile of time today. I was out digging graves and stuff and mowing this morning and stuff, and uh, and uh, pretty much burnt up all my time. But I want to today this trailer can be converted. Converted how you say? Well, if you want the box up a little higher, if I can do it now, because it's been sitting in like this way for quite a while, um, I'm going to have to hook my tractor up. But underneath here, it has a an axle. I don't know if you can see it for the springs, but see how the axle and where the wheel is? I've actually flipped that around before and it's got the double perch mount things here for the springs. Then you can see the up and out. So that's in droop mode, we'll call it now. So I'm going to trailer and stein, trail and stein this guy here hopefully today 
if I can get these nuts off. I've got gave them a little soak there. Threads don't look too too bad. This thing really doesn't see much outside, you know, salty, crappy stuff, right? So it's hopefully going to be all right. So those little guys there, well, that's zoomed in pretty awesome, man. Eh? Let's see how much closer I can get her. Yeah, they look pretty darn good, don't they? Well, we're going to have to uh, hold the trailer frame up so when this thing drops off of here, off the springs, and we can just flip her around and then uh, get her loosely bolted back on and then uh, that's pretty awesome oh, now she's getting a little pixely because I'm going into the digital zoom uh, but yeah so we'll have to get the tractor out here I'm gonna hook it to my little guy and then get the back oil here and then hook onto the back here somewhere I think I just used these rails before here and hooked a chain over my straps or something on, on these guys and up to a chain. I just have to basically hold the back up so I can pull it away when uh, when she comes loose there. So let's get a couple things gathered together. And uh, what I'm going to do is hook it up to the tractor first and lift the box up and just see if I can get these these nuts to, to move off. I pretty much I think have to do them, do them by hand which kind of kind of blows but um, well, uh, I can't get in there with an impact because of the frame of the trailer, which would really be nice. But uh, I think I'm pretty sure I have to do them all by hand. But anyways, let me get shit you my weighted here, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. Oh, that is cool. Oh, you might be wondering too, why on earth would you want to do that? Well, why I want to do that is when it's hooked to the tractor, which I'll show you in a sec here, it's always, let me think now, when it's hooked on the trailer is always kind of tilted a little bit that way, which is fine, um, but mostly what I kind of found the way before, well there's the reason why I put it back that way, let's start there. Um, when I had the other guys coming in to do my concrete bases, they, I used to take the dirt from them, uh, away from them, and they had just a small tractor where they couldn't really lift their arm up and then to get over their right, because it, it, in perspective, we're here now, and it should be up to about here when we're done. It should raise it up about six or eight inches or so. So they had a hard time getting their, their bucket in and then dumping it, so I just put her back down. But for my machine, I can, you know, be like way up here and then dump it. It's not a problem for me at all. So that's all I'm pretty much using it for is myself now. So it'll give me a little bit more ground clearance um, underneath for the hydraulics and stuff. Plus when I dump, it'll be like another six inches higher, up higher. So when I dump, there's actually more room for the dirt to come out. And because uh, now what happens is when I dump this, of course, comes down to like you know, quite a bit that way while the trailer's right up. So you actually lose a bit more there. So what ends up happening is you get some coming out, but then you got to drive ahead. So you'll get a pile started here. And by the time she's emptied, your pile's up here. So when it's up higher, I can actually dump out and kind of poof in one spot more a little better instead of having to drag the pile out kind of thing. So let's get a tractor hooked up here. We'll uh, get her get her situated and uh, figure out how I'm gonna hook the uh, what you might call it uh, straps on. Well, I guess first we gotta get her up in the air and make sure that we can uh, uh, get those nuts to come loose. So, anyways, let's get a tractor. Okay, so you can see that angle there when I've got her. <coughs> pardon me, right up in the air. Um, to its full height there on the three-point hitch, which pretty much I have to have it up there or the mower deck gets too low if I got the mower deck on when I'm using her. So uh, this should actually bring the box up pretty much more level. And uh, yeah, it should be a little better, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, that should bring her up. Should bring her up a little more level. Should tow, tow a little bit better too when it's, uh, when it's kind of more level, right? Um, so anyways, let's, uh, I gotta hook up the hoses here. Hook up the hose. The hose, and I'm just, I'm not gonna run them the normal way through. I'm just gonna run them down the side here. Set the park brake 
get on the tractor. I'll rev her up a bit here too, she'll go a little faster. Okay, let's just set the PB here, not peanut butter, parking brake. Okay. There's our little hook dewy thing. So, yeah, you can't really get in here with the impact too well. I think maybe the outside ones I could, but it's still kind of in behind the frame and everything, which really kind of sucks. Sockets, yes. I'll probably bring a socket set out or something. Um, but uh, I want to see if I can even move these guys. So let me go get some tools and uh, we'll uh, see if these things will even move. All right, what size do we think these are, boys? Uh, that's at least a, at least, oh, what's this one I got here, 19? Oh, pretty darn good. Almost need uh, uh, what you might call it deep sockets for these, but I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to be able to budge these even. Oh, I might need deep socket. You know where my 19 mil deep socket is right now? In the trailer. That's the exact same size I use for the. Oh. The exact same size I use for oh, those actually come off really not not sort of too bad. Uh, sorry, the exact same size. I can get away the wrench for the, the leveling jacks. Uh, sorry, the leveling jacks on the big trailer there. I put them, uh, yeah, just haven't got quite enough. I'm gonna need a deep, deep socket for those ones. Okay, let me go get those. Okay, so we got a deep socket, 19 mil. That, I don't know if you knew these things, they play music. Kind of thing. Kind of thing. So a 19 mil deep socket. Oop, there goes the other small, short one. I should get on these. Ooh. That uh, stuff I spray on there, that move it stuff works pretty darn good. See, this thing never sees uh, salt or any crap, right? So, it's just like they're almost like they're brand new. Plus, they were kind of coated in like some uh, dusty kind of stuff. And uh, you know, the only time it sees rain or water is when it's having it's raining, but it's not like it gets up to highway speeds or at all flourishes around so unless I leave the guy like tilted right up she's you know good you know something else we should probably be doing is re-greasing the bearings on this guy I'm not too sure if I can get the seals out without wrecking them and trying to find them sometimes is a little trickily a little bit although we do have a place up north of here that Anything bearing, seals, gaskets, pretty well gaskets, stuff like that. He can freaking get her for you, or has her right there. Come on, you turd, get on there. Oh, sorry. There. But, um, yeah, he's pretty good at getting pretty much anything you need there. Has it, has it there. Uh, what else does he have? I haven't actually been there for a long time. Those two feel good. These ones need a little bit more. Yep. 
like I've had trailers, you know, I have seen road work, and uh, I go to do something with these, and you end up having to cut them off because they're so rottenly rotten it on there. Right? Where these aren't too bad. Actually, you know what I could have got in there was my uh, uh, air wrench. I don't want that's so sorry. Air wrenches are alright, but sometimes I don't like to take any torque or abuse or anything. Now this isn't gonna no, this shouldn't fall off because I'm at the axle underneath me. Now the only thing that this is going to do is make <laughs> the fenders look really, really funny. Okay. Um, because we're going to get this thing up so high here. Okay, we'll leave that one there for now. We'll switch it to the other side. Um, yeah, because of the where the tires are, uh, the fenders are going to look like really high because they're going to be a lot further apart. So, anyways, I, I really don't care about that as long as she works. All right, will this side be as nice? Oh. Apparently so. So I wish you guys were around, or I was around, and I was doing videos when I uh, converted this uh, dump box lift from the uh, crappy little 2-inch that was on it to uh, the big 4-inch I've got here now. This trailer was absolutely freaking horrible when it was uh, set up for electric lifting. Or actually the battery, I put in my RV thing there now. And the trailer is uh, the battery out of this thing. And there is a date on this trailer, I'm pretty sure on the inspection panel on the side. We'll have to go look at that after. You can see roughly how old that battery is. You know. I'm pretty sure it's got a plate on it. But anyways, this thing, if you loaded it up pretty too much past the tires here, it actually wouldn't lift it. I'm like, um, well that's not too much good, is it? Well, that one's still staying a little tight. I have to go right off with this one because I'm almost hitting the frame of the trailer here. I won't be able to get it off anyways now. But I uh, guess you wouldn't lift much past the uh, the axle here to get too much weight on the cylinder, and uh, she wouldn't lift it. So I'm like, well, that's pretty darn freaking useless. And you know, it wasn't like it was uh, the battery was weak in it. Well, kind of doing a setup like that is kind of stupid, really. The, uh, I think it was just too small of a system. You know, I'm using this trailer. I need, I need to be like lifting a full trailer load every time. You know, if I gotta do half loads, holy friggin' crap, that would take me. Oh, well, sometimes it's five full loads, so it'd be ten loads, half loads. So I'm like, no, no, this is stupid. So we got rid of that cylinder. We we'll put this great big four inch on, and I'll tell you, she'll lift pretty much anything you want to put in there now. Okay, that one's pretty much off. That one's pretty much off. Well, they all came off fairly decent. And it's been probably about six years since I've done anything with this, so that's pretty good. Kind of think I can actually take these things right off of here now. It's basically you have to just lift the trailer up off the, the axle. So they might as well come right off. Oh sure the last little bit. Sure. The wee burr on the end of her probably but
Okay. Let's see if these will come off of here. Oh, you know what? This one's got a little bend in her. She may not come off of here. Just having a look at her here. Well, let's get the nuts off of here first. Should be enough room in that plate that it should be able to come off of here, I think. Oh, you dirty thing. Well, that one's pretty much off. That one I can actually just stay like that. It doesn't have to come right off. Just pull it, pull her off to the side and let her sit on the frame there. Okay, so that one's free. Let's switch along over to this one. Um, pretty much got you in the shot there. I can't really remember from doing this before if this was a pain in the rear end to get it lined up again or not. I think it shouldn't be too bad. I can't really remember though. I might need like six more hands. I, I can't really remember. So if I can't remember, it couldn't have been that bad. Oh, that one's tight though. thing. Okay, we might need some persuasion here. I haven't got the correct persuasion bar, but... get this one side off. Well, let's put the nuts back on the level. Like that. Okay, I'll go, to, go get a hammer. Okay. Whoa, it's gonna be tight getting down in here. Cameras. Ouch! That was the wrong nail. I really don't mind if the uh, one side doesn't want to come off. Like the other one, it can just sort of hang there. Flip it around and then it's not so much messing the boot. Oh yeah, almost got her. Oh yeah. That's still pretty darn tight in there for some reason though. what the 
heck can be holding these uh, stupid washers on here like that? A little bit of dirt and corrosion, probably. And they're like just a bang on perfect size, so they, of course. Dirty thing. Yay. Nice if this trailer frame wasn't here in the way. Let me tell ya. Once you get her free, she just pull right off, eh? Of course, being slipper too, it doesn't help much. I really don't want to just hammer it down through it because uh, that might uh, sort of strip off the, you know, threads a little bit. All this for one freaking washer, are you kidding me? Yeah, there's just a little bit of crub in there, I guess. Oh, really? Stupid thing. So much trouble with a stupid freaking. Well, let's see if I can get. Hmm. If I could just get this washer off, I think she would come right up and then she'd be loose. I think it's got a bit of a cup in it now, so it's not one to release it too well here. I really don't want to have to fry on it too hard here. I imagine this is going to wreck these threads. I think if I could just thread her off. Oh, wait a minute. We were doing good. We were doing good. Couple more threads. See, we're almost there. <laughs> and then I can just lift this plate right off. Oh, well, it's actually unthreading. Almost there. So what the frick was going on with this thing? It's just a perfect fit, I guess. Man. Okay. For some reason, that's still on there really good, but I'll be able to get it off after. Um, okay, so this is probably not a very good place to sit now because there's nothing holding this except the weight of the trailer. So we'll have to put the trailer down and then hook onto it and then uh, lift her up and the axle should flip away there. 
Well, then I gotta figure out the right heights to get it remounted on the other side. Which is gonna have to go up about eight or ten inches above where we are now. So anyways, well, let's get her up. Okay, well I guess we're good, we can put her down. my other tractor and uh, hook up my straps my chain and then we'll just kind of kind of pick this guy up off the axle here I guess okay I forgot I got my uh, straps out uh, on a monument right now I lifted one off for, for tomorrow's funeral so we'll have to use a chain here but anyways let's get a chain Okay, well we're there. I kind of wish I had my straps though. I could have, I guess, gone and got them. I got another small set here somewhere which would have worked perfect too, but I couldn't locate them. I must have used them somewhere or someone swiped them on me or something, but anyways, I'm pretty sure we pretty much got everything loose. Now we just got to uh, get under here and flip that axle and try to get the uh, everything all lined back up. <clears throat> That uh, one stupid thing didn't come off, I see, though, over there, so we'll have to try to maybe wheel her out here and get that thing out. I might have to go higher, the trailer higher, so I can get that out of there. That whole thing is probably going to roll away on me, though. Stupid thing. All right, we got her out. We're going to see if we can get this U-bolt uh, out, of, out of here. I got to uh, give her a little bit of hit in here, I guess, but not a whole lot, I hope. side over here uh, I think that's the original one and it's been overloaded I think <laughs> let's just have a quick look at them here so this one you can kind of see the sort of flat spot under there right whereas the other side that I had replaced it's not quite so bad so I don't know if I really wanted to get into that now because I'd have to take all these stupid things off and, you know. I know I've got one somewhere because I got a pair, but I only did the one because it, like, I think it really bent the other one. I'm trying to remember now. But uh, now exactly where it would be, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know where that spring is gone now. I'm sure it's in there somewhere, but um, 
I don't know. I'm not gonna really so much worry about it right now. Probably, probably should do it, but because uh, it actually does sort of sit a little lower on this side. Um, but I like way overload this thing, but you know, I load it for how much the thing can lift, not for how much it can actually carry. So, my bad, but anyways, um, yes, this is gonna be the crap freaking job. That is for freaking sure. Uh, trying to get this thing all lined back up. Once I get her there, it won't be bad, but I've got to, uh, I think use a jacks, jack or jack stand or something, maybe put underneath, get her in the rough kind of area here and, uh, at least going, well, I can, oh, I can hold her up, well, if I could get her one hand, hold her up that way, um, well, maybe some jack stand or something. Hmm. This is going to really kind of be crappy here because I don't exactly know uh, how low to put this thing yet because this thing's going to come up to about there. And um, if I can get her to perch down on these little holes on the bottoms of the springs, there's those little holes, right? Almost need like six people helping me here with, with this to get this lined up again here. But uh, see what I can do. Should really be doing the bearings in these things, I think, too. But for now, we'll just slap her back in here, I think. Okay, we're just going to slowly lower her down here. I got her pretty much under line where I want it. As it moves. We're just going to slowly lower it down. That actually might be, might be too much. Quite possibly might be too much. I'm just going to shorten you guys up here. Holy, oh, there's like six cars just went out. What the frick? Okay. So, by the time we get this guy flipped. Yeah, we're already too high. Or too low, sorry. So, I'm gonna have to go up again, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Hang on a second. I think I might have to use a floor jack maybe to hold this guy up here enough. Oh, that's pretty darn close there. Pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. I think I might... Uh, down just a hair, but I need something to hold that so it goes right in the center. Really close there, you can hear it, eh? nuts under here. All oh, for freak's sakes. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay. Washers. Open 
like that one. That one's all right. Okay, so that should work for that. This might be tricky because I had trouble getting this one off of here. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get it back on. Around all this crap. Ooh. Luck. We have luck. Stupid crappy washers. It's got a little burr on it, I guess. Stupid freaking thing. <laughs> Might have to get a new one for this one. That one's stupid. pressure down on that or or not. You gotta lift it up maybe a bit. Maybe I'll go get a jack. Okay. Now hopefully this will kind of get them itself aligned a little better. I think we pretty much got that other side of line. Okay. Um, how the heck am I gonna get under here now? Uh, hmm, I have to put you guys over here a little bit. I have to get kind of right under here. So. a little better now that the jacks underneath are all here holding everything up so if something lets go she's not gonna fall on top of me. Oh you dirty thing I put that on the wrong side. I'm gonna have to fight with these stupid things. This one was from the other side I guess. Now she's backwards. I brought some new washers too. Heck of these stupid things. Okay. That can go there. That hopefully will go up through there. It would really suck if it did fall. Hold that. Got. 
Hey, that worked good. Hey, those ones I brought might be too big. Uh, okay, that one's gonna work. I got tight too for some weird reason. Hopefully you guys can see this. Try flipping this nut the other way. I think it's okay. All right, I guess we can go ahead and start cranking these up a bit. I could probably put it down, but I want to make sure we get all these uh, these nuts cranked down so we don't lose our purchases here. The other side isn't quite aligned yet. What's going on there? What the heck's going on here? This one's got a little bit of a bend in her. See, I could put another walk underneath these things too and get her up a little higher again, but oh, don't worry, this will be plenty high. This will be plenty high here now. But it's nice to get your hydraulics, hoses and stuff up off the ground a little more. He's always a little leery of that. I want to maybe do this to my little green trailer too, my little guy. up and stuff. They're uh, very hard, like they're sticky almost. Or these will seem like they're mm, maybe rolling too good. Which means the grease is maybe dried out of the bearings. And this thing doesn't get up to highway speed until you couldn't hear them buzzing or humming, right? Okay, I think that's good for just now get this other side lined up here and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet because we've still got a little bit of whatchamacallit uh, where are you here she's still got a bit of gap underneath the spring there so she needs just a little bit of tweaking I could probably do it even if I put it down but I don't want to lose my what I've got already there so I'll have a look here and see what we need to do. <sighs> this thing's got to go out a bit. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this right on here or not.
is awful close. <laughs> Close, but no cigars. I don't think I just want to crank that on. Well, let's see what happens. I'll just back off here a little bit. Let's see what happens if I just release that guy. Too much. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the springs just got to move over a hair. Now if I jack it up again, and maybe I'll jam something down in there. That'll put a bit of pressure on it here. Did she just fall in? Oh, 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 oh. No. Man. Well, hang on a sec. I'm going to try one other thing here. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but... Um... Hey. She's in. That's all we needed. A little persuasion. Okay, now I need... My wrench just to snug her up a bit, so we don't lose that again. I have got air tools. <laughs> out of here you guys out of here we'll put you back over on the side here and we'll lower it down look at that eh Ooh -wee.
All right, that's sitting better. That's actually a little high on the back now. That's hilarious. That's a freaking long way up though, eh? Holy crap, I got I got clearance now. Wow, underneath the dump there. So let's, let's back the big tractor of the way here and then we'll do a, a dump test here and make sure everything's good there still. Pretty sure to be fine, but. that's given quite a bit of clearance underneath the dump there so that that should be more than awesome now i can't even really remember using it like that way before but i think i did it a few times and then these guys are complaining oh your trailer's too high i'm like okay i'll flip it over so i just flipped it over but uh, i don't think i get quite as much steep dump angle but that's still pretty darn good i don't know what degree that is but it's it's good enough that this little bit of water is running out she's running so that's that's all you need and then you can pull ahead and then wha bam slammer and stuff right she'll dump out nice so wow that's really cranked her up at least at least eight more inches plus the perch so maybe 10 inch higher ish around there that's pretty friggin sweet well there we go i was gonna do a dump test today but i am like totally out of time i got those things all cranked on tight uh, i didn't film that of course but uh, anyways they're tight they're good i better put this down so i can put her inside otherwise we're gonna hit the freaking wall Stupid walls. Pretty handy, eh? This works off of there. Oh yeah, there's that cylinder too. So I went uh, double the size. This is a four inch bore. The other one was like half the size, like two inch. So it was tiny, tiny. And I uh, wouldn't lift the load at all. So <laughs> the only thing I had to change was uh, this mount stayed the same. This one had to get moved back a bit because there was a little bit longer on the cylinder here. So. That wasn't too bad. You can see where we moved it from. From, uh, you get a light from there back. So it wasn't too bad, about so two inches really. So, Princess Auto special. Gotta love Princess Auto. I guess it for today uh kind of run myself a little longer than i was wanting to actually i had some people show up there that wanted to uh do a history tour around the cemetery so they had a bunch of names we looked them up i found all the graves for them they're just you know tickled pink kind of thing so i'm like hmm, that's what i'm here for you know so but they even asked me about her great grandfather's farm called the bingo farm from like way back and uh, i'm like oh yeah i know where that is not by the bingo name, but by the house. I'm like, oh, it's just up the highway here. Uh, next three lights up turns on the right there. So they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, I know where that is. Oh, so they're going to go check that out too. That was kind of neat. But uh, anyways, um, we'll maybe give that uh, fella a try tomorrow. A dump test and stuff. Um, see how much better it is. And hopefully she's all right. But uh, anyways, uh, I guess I'm going to get to my potatoes today. Man, I run out of time. That happens. So it happens. Um, 
this week for Farm Sim Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to get one up for you or not. I'm going to have to wait and see if I can get the spare the time for it. Or get the time for it or make the time for it. One of the threes above there. Uh, I guess I had her set up I think this week for doing some potatoes. I guess we could do that harvest. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I might skip this week. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get something together even an hour or something. Do a harvest on some potatoes and stuff. I did find one other map that was pretty cool though, it was a pretty big one, um, which I want to do that uh, uh, straw hay map, straw map, and do a bunch of baling, it was freaking huge, but I found freaking huge equipment to go along with it, so that might be alright. Maybe we'll take a break from the potatoes and we'll do that this week, I don't know, we'll see. A little bit different map, and uh, go from there. But and, uh, anyways, tomorrow I got a funeral, so I don't know whether I'll be able to get too much up for you tomorrow, unless we do a dump test, it's supposed to pour rain all day too so that might be the end of that too so i don't know we'll see but anyways that's it for today have a good night thanks again for watching today watching trailer stein come together or come back together and uh we'll have to give her a shot and try her out so i could have done it today earlier when i did my funeral but i did it first thing so i got her done and out of the way ready for tomorrow because i knew it was going to rain so i'm like oh, i'm getting her done today well it's nice a shout <laughs> So anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the uh, better quality is a little more better. And uh, it's, you know, a little more watchable kind of thing. You can see how ugly I really am, right? Right? But anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you hopefully tomorrow.